Now, for question number three, we have uh, two particles A and B, which have mass 2m and km, respectively. The particles are moving in opposite directions along the same smooth horizontal line so that the particles collide directly. Immediately before the collision, A has a speed 2u and B has a speed u. The direction of motion of each particle is reversed by the collision. Immediately after the collision, the speed of A is u over 2. Find in terms of m and u the magnitude of the impulse exerted by B on A in the collision. So what we've got to do first in this question is, for part A, all right, let's just do a diagram that will help us with the whole question. Let's start off with um, looking at the situation before the collision takes place and after the collision takes place. Okay, so before the collision, this is what we see. We have particle A and particle B. Okay, A and B. Now, it says um, A has mass 2m. Okay, so the mass of A is 2m. And B has mass km. The particles are moving in opposite directions along the same straight, smooth, horizontal line so the particles collide. So A is moving in this direction with a um, speed of 2u. And move this down a bit. And B is moving in the opposite direction. Whoops. Pin back. B is moving in the opposite direction with a speed of KU. Okay. K, uh, no, sorry. Uh, immediately before the collision, A has a speed 2U and B has a speed U. Sorry, with the speed U, this is before the collision. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this direction as, as a positive in my calculations. Let's just, we'll do it in a minute. Uh, now, after the collision, you've got same A and the same B, but this time, after the collision, they still have the same masses, of course. But A is now, the, the directions have been reversed. So A is now moving in this direction uh, with the speed U over 2. And B is now moving in this direction with a speed they didn't tell us. We don't know. Okay? All right. So there's a situation before and there's a situation after the collision. All right? So let me just make a line there. Okay, so that's before, that's after. Okay, so for part A, we just need to look at one thing, and that's basically, we need to look at the fact that uh, we're looking for the impulse. Now, the impulse is basically the change of momentum of an object. Okay, momentum is mass times velocity. Okay, mass times velocity. So the change in momentum, okay, um, for in terms of K, in terms of M and U, well, for, for B, we can't find the change of momentum because we don't know what its speed is after the collision. But for A, we can find the change in momentum because we know the speed before and the speed after. We know the mass of A. Okay, so the, the, the impulse is basically the mass times the final velocity minus the mass times the initial velocity, okay, which is like the mass times the change in velocity. All right, so if we take the mass... The mass is 2m for A, okay, if we consider A, if we consider A, I might need to that, this a bit, okay, if we, if we consider A, why do we have to consider A? Because we know all the information required for A. The impulse is, the impulse is 2m times the speed before the collision, now, this is where this is very important. The, po the direction that's positive is to the right. That's what I'm taking as my convention here. So you have to stick to that now in this question. You have to be very careful. A lot of people make mistakes in this particular thing. They don't, they don't pay any regard to the direction that things are moving in. So it's 2m times 2u. That's a speed. That's, no, sorry. At the end, after the collision, you've got to do this after minus before. So after the collision, you've got 2m times negative u over 2, because it's going in the, to the left. It's going the opposite direction to what we have stated. Okay, we don't know whether it's going to the left or right before. It doesn't matter. But we just know that it's changed direction. So the speed before and the speed after will have different signs. Okay? The way I've drawn it, I've drawn it going to the right. I could have drawn it going to the left. But it doesn't make any difference because 
you know, the, the signs of before and after would always be opposites in this case because it has reverse direction, all right, as the question told us. So that's, a, that's, um, that's your, so what am I doing here? So you've got m times, that's the speed before, and then after you've got minus the speed after. Now the speed after is t. Okay, that's positive, right? So it's minus 2u. Okay, so that is the impulse, okay, that's been exerted on A. Okay, that's the impulse on A. So that's going to be 2m times, and you've got, this is minus uh, 4 over 2, minus 5 over 2u, which the 2s will cancel. So you're left with negative 5mu. That is the impulse. Okay, that has been exerted on A, of course, by B. So the impulse exerted by B on A, okay, because that's, it's caused it to change direction, it is equal to 5mu, the magnitude. If you want to find the magnitude, okay. 5 mu. So that's the answer to part A of our question. Okay. So uh, we don't need the sign because it's asking us for the magnitude. So I'll go on to the second part of the question um, in the next video. Video.